Hey guys, it's Tony here, and today I want to talk about the Crucified Navy issue, which is an Amar faction frigate. It's very unique in that it's an Ewar frigate that's kind of hybrided with uh, more traditional DPS. It's kind of like a Crucifier and a Tormentor crossed over into one. I guess a bonus to weapon disruptor effectiveness, as well as a, a really decent bonus to small energy turret damage, which means that it essentially does the same DPS as a Punisher, or a bit more than a Tormentor overall. It has a roll bonus here which drastically reduces the range. This is an 85% penalty to optimal range and fall off. Uh, with a tech 2 uh, tracking disruptor with max skills like I have, you get a 10 kilometer optimal range and you get 16 kilometer fall off. So you're essentially this is forcing you to fight into scram range and this is not going to be like an OP Kai to uh, you can't really do like a slice of it on this with a TD because it's not going to work at that range. And it also stops it from just being more traditional Ewar. It also has a huge uh, reduction in the activation cost and the CPU requirement. So uh, this uh, tracking disruptor actually takes almost no CPU. It takes 7 CPU instead of uh, I think it's 42 or something. If it didn't have that bonus. Uh, I'd recommend you carry a mobile depot on this ship with a missile guidance disruptor that, to swap over the tracking disruptor in case you encounter a uh, a missile ship. Although most ships tend to be more turret based and missile ship based in the Nosek meta. Although of course there is you know Kestrel, Hookville, uh, Gamma, um, Jackdaw, it maybe even Caracal that might be worth having a refit for. So I would recommend it. Uh, so in the highs, I have uh, two small focus pulse lasers here, as well as a uh, a small compact Nosferatu. Uh, these are the uh, highest tier pulse lasers. We want to get as much range and DPS as possible in the ship, and we have 11 kilometer optimal. That sort of co coincides with the rest of the ship. The Nos is just there for new defense because you got the extra space for it. It's quite nice to have. If you don't fit the Nos, what you can do is you can go for beams if you'd like. And that gives you more DPS if you want to do like a beam scram kiter at 8k. Although you are significantly more vulnerable to newts. Because beams use more cap and you won't have the loss to protect you from dual prop newt ships like the Dramiel. I've got a uh, restrained like warp drive here just for a slightly better cap. If you there isn't a huge deal between it and the compact though. So if you're having fin fitting difficulties feel free to go for the compact. Uh, tech 2 tracking disruptor here. Just want to get as much power as possible. Uh, I've got a Tech 2 Scram because I've got the CPU for it. And Tech 2 Web because I have a CPU for it. Uh, feel free to downgrade these. In fact, I might even say it's probably worth going Compact Web over Tech 2 Web. Because having to spend 16 pace to repair a Tech 2 Web. For you know the 5% extra speed reduction. I'm not sure if that's worth it or not. It's debatable. Obviously, the Tech 2 web is better, but it costs way more to repair when roaming, and that's actually something I noticed personally. So that's one thing up to you. You might want to downgrade that to a fleeting web, especially if you have a CPU problem on the ship. Definitely go this to fleeting web first. Tech 2 damage control for buffer, small ancillary, obviously, and then I've just got a heat sink for for the DPS. And I've got three Tech 2 uh, hull rigs here. Just don't want to get any kind of uh, speed penalty from the armor rigs. I think they work out just fine. The Crucified Navy has a pretty decent structure. With those, we're getting 1.2k structure with the Tech 2 damage control. This is a pretty respectable buffer. And that kind of helps you uh, deal with some damage that you might not be able to mitigate with your tracking disruptor. Like drones, for example, if you're fighting a Tristan or something like that. It's enough buffer to get rid of the drones or to kill the the guy first. Ah, so the uh, the Crucified Navy issue, uh, the whole point of this ship is that it's a scram kiter. You're going to be uh, trying to kite people at 9k, shooting them with a scorch, while you have a awesome tracking disruptor. With heat, this is a 71% uh, fall off and optimal range disruption. That is huge. 
uh, you're almost quartering their range. Uh, one thing to be careful of, though, is uh, tactical destroyers in their sharpshooter mode. They have a huge uh, weapon disruptor resistance, which is 66%. Essentially, that what that means is this is instead of reducing by like, uh, like almost two thirds, you're you'll take it's going to be reduced to like 23% or something, which is like an unscripted TD on it. anything else. So be aware of tactical destroyers. But yeah, the, you know, the whole point of this, you hold people down at 9k, you track and disrupt them. Unless they have more than 30 kilometer range, they're not hitting you while you heat this disruptor. And you just beat them up with your Scorch and Drone Bay while they can't do anything to you. Uh, if you encounter a dual prop ship, like a dual prop Dramiel, uh, you or if you're fighting against maybe something like a battle cruiser that has more range, you can go in close under the guns. That's where the NOS helps too, it helps deal with a bit of newting. Although thanks to the uh, roll bonus, it doesn't actually require much cap to activate this whatsoever. Uh, it, it only takes uh, two cap, which is less than your web or scram, so which is great. Uh, against against dual prop ships if they get on top of you because they can because dual prop ships uh, have uh, better speed than your web like the dual prop Jeremy for example or control fire uh, you can load a tracking disruption script on them and what that means is that even if they get on top of you you're still going to be able to track them perfectly because if they're orbiting you then they're not tracking you and you have drones so the idea there is uh, if they want to hit you, you've got to be able to hit them and you should still be able to win. But you are scram kiting most of the time. This is kind of just if you've ever flown a Tormentor. This is a Tormentor that has like a crazy powerful tracking disruptor. As well as a NOS on top of that. As well as just more HP, more DPS, everything else which is great. Uh, I got some really great fights uh, on Twitch while streaming in this ship. It's really powerful, really underrated. I'm not sure why people underrate it so much. Uh, so I really like this ship. I uh, hope you enjoy the clips. And check it out. It's a, it's a great ship to fly. He's coming here. So I guess he does want to fight. So our plan here is we want to use Scorch. If we can get away with it. We want to try and stay outside that new range. But we will not be able to kite him forever if he's dual prop. Which he is. So what we're going to have to do is... Oh, for some reason he's pulling range now. Okay, I'm reloading C Imperial Navy now. So now that he's close, I think what we're going to do... We're going to swap over to this tracking disruption script. The capacitor script. is empty. The capacitor is empty. Oh, come on, finish him. The capacitor is empty. And warp before this 3k second 4x active. gets on us. Oh, that worked pretty well. In V410 at EC300. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that guy had a pretty nice fit. I guess it's actually kind of hard to sit on thing. Oh, this is going to be hard, I think. And he's at zero. Okay, how many webs does he have? Just one. So he has an injector, possibly. It looks like it's probably going to be an injector fit. Plus one. He's definitely injector or he's trolling me. Actually, it could be... He has named electrons. It could be an alpha with a whole tank ship maybe or something. Uh, he's trolling me for sure, right? There's a sentinel here. That's gonna cock me pretty hard. Oh, 
I guess I can just ch kill his drones. Wait, why am I still hitting this 4x with my guns if there's a sentinel here? Oh, let's try and get on top of him and the run that loss. Is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. We want to heat that loss. The capacitor is empty. Let's the capacitor this. is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. Oh. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. You're gonna hear aura spam a lot. The capacitor was empty. Oh no, never mind, the party's here. Okay. So he has a scram. I will remember to launch drones this time. He has neutron blasters. So he so uh, important thing about the Hikati is he does actually have defense against this in sharpshooter mode. Oh, looks like we're getting blobberinoed again. Should be able to pull away from him, but maybe not in time for the steeple to blob me. I'm wasting a lot of charges here too. Actually, we might even get this guy. Fuck it, dude. Let's fucking kill this guy. I'm not sure if we'll get away from the steeple, though. Because uh, we should be able to pull away from him because he doesn't have a web. I'm going to orbit at 7,500. <laughs> My dro fucking thing's on a drone for some reason. If he goes into uh, sharpshooter mode, my weapon disruptor is not as effective. Hey, was that a smart bomb? Is empty. He has a smart bomb on his people? That's weird. That's interesting, I should say. Oh shit, I'm capped out. The capacitor is empty. The capacitor is empty. I need to keep that, uh... The capacitor is empty. I think I... This is going to be probably retarded. The capacitor is empty. But I, I think I might need to heat the NOS a bit here and go in a bit closer to suck him with the NOS. Ah, rest in peace. I think I could have killed him if it was. I should have probably ran away, I guess, instead of fighting. I didn't realise that my cap was uh, suffering so badly. Cocked. I was still pretty impre pretty impressive for a 2v1. Almost, almost like stabilised enough to get the sepal. But the, the sharpshooter mode is uh, really powerful because it gives him a... Uh, a reduction to my TD is only one third effective versus him because they get a 66% reduction in weapon disruptor effectiveness. So instead of being like a instead of like quartering his range, I only like maybe take like 30% off it instead. 4 suit feather gold.
I forgot about the drones again. Oh, and another thrasher? Oh, I'm fucking retarded. I'm like sitting next to him. Not sure how that happens. Oh, don't burn that out. Whew. <laughs> Might be an Eris coming in. I'm not gonna rep on purpose because I don't think he's all that dangerous. And he might like literally just fucking go on me if he sees me like in structure. Oh, maybe not. I'll start repping now then. I was thinking he would go on me if he saw that I was in structure. But I guess not. Oh, is he off the gate? I mean, not really, but... We have a gate fire. Warp drive active. Kasliak is the biggest cock. <laughs> Rip all my paste. Oh, it's a pod, fuck. I don't know, I wasn't even that good in that fight. I, I mean, I was quite uh, rusty. Can you ask me a super serious question? How can you so cool? <laughs> oh, you just have to fly Kestrels for uh, five years, Jebby. My glasses are the same as yours. This is a Crucify Navy issue. It's like if a Tormentor and a Crucifier, um, you know, rented a room and had a fun time together, and then this came out nine months later. <laughs> this has to be a troll, right? It's created today, so probably. Oh, there's a Comoran on scan now. Warp drive active. Gonna fly when you have the ISK? Yeah, well, I mean, it's 35 mil. It's not that expensive. Can like make like two, well, maybe three every two hours in a Vexen AV issue. I wonder if this guy would just go on me. Let's see what he does. Oh, I'm being bad here. Rapier. Warp drive 
Active. Rest.